Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about the topic inflation. See, in our daily life conversations, we discuss about the prices. Like today, tomato price is very high or onion price is very high, like that. So, indirectly we are talking about inflation. Recently, we are often seeing the news, our neighbor countries in crisis. For example, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka facing economic crisis due to inflation. So, what is inflation? Inflation is defined as the persistent and appreciable rise in the general level of prices or a sustained rise in prices of goods and services in an economy. Why inflation will occur? What are the reasons for the inflation? See here. Increase in money supply. Increase in demand. Decrease in supply. Increase in money supply means increase the money supply in market if money supply increases in the market more money available to the people then people trying to buy everything whatever available resources in the market increase in demand if the money supply increases demand automatically increases people will try to buy more goods and services automatically supply will decreases if demand increases supply will decreases then prices of goods and services automatically increases. These are the reasons for the inflation. Types of inflation. Inflation on the basis of rate. Creeping inflation, walking or trotting inflation, running inflation, hyperinflation or runaway inflation or galloping inflation. Coming to creeping inflation. Here price rise at very slow rate, less than 3%, like creeper is called creeping inflation. It is regarded as safe and essential for economic growth. Walking or trotting inflation. Price rise moderately at the rate of 3% to 7% or less than 10% is called walking or trotting inflation. It is a warning signal to the government to be prepared to control inflation. If the inflation crosses this range, it reflects serious impact of economy and individuals. Running inflation. It means price rise rapidly at a rate of 10% to 20%. It affects the economy adversely. Next, hyperinflation or runaway inflation or galloping inflation. Here the price rise at very fast at double or triple digit. Digit rate from 20% to 100% or more is called hyperinflation or runaway inflation or galloping inflation. Such a situation brings total collapse of the monetary system because of the continuous fall in the purchasing power of the money. These are the types of inflation on the basis of rate. Next, inflation on the basis of causes. Inflation on the basis of causes two types, demandful inflation and cost push inflation. What is demand, demandful inflation? When occur demandful inflation? Demandful inflation arises due to higher demand for goods and services over the available supply. Higher demand for goods and services arises due to increase in income of the people, increase in money supply, and change in the taste and preferences of the people. What is cost push inflation? Price rise due to increased input costs like raw materials, wages, profit margin and so on is called cost push inflation. Both demandful inflation and cost push inflation are affected by forces of demand and supply. Demandful inflation affecting factors. Increase in money supply. Increase in money supply leads to price rise. If more money available with people, they are trying to purchase more goods and services. So automatically demand will increase. It leads to price rise in the market. Next, increase in government expenditure. It means increase in government expenditure over its income. Leads to deficit budget. If government spending increases, the demand for consumption will increases. It increases the price of both goods and services. Next, increase in forex reserves. 
it means includes foreign currencies bonds treasury bills and other government securities so increases the both liquidity and total depth next increase in wages if the cost of goods and services goes up companies have to pay more wages to the employees next deficit finances if the money not available in the market rbi try to print more money so money supply will increase in the market economy decrease in direct tax decrease in direct tax leads to increase in demand can you note what are the direct taxes example personal income tax corporation tax wealth tax gift tax this all are comes under direct tax if the tax decreases people income automatically increases if the income of the people more money supply automatically increases increase in black money next black money is basically the money on which no income tax has been paid to the government it affects the financial system of the country money supply in the economy increases causing high inflation increase in population current population size will affect future market demand through prices and supply elasticity if the population changes are slow consumption changes are slow there is time to adjust production and distribution in order to achieve stability in the market supply if population changes are high means there is a gap between production and distribution automatically demand will increase next increase in government borrowing for example an increase in government borrowing will decrease bond prices and increase the price level rate of interest of the bond will increases if the yield of the bond goes up cost of capital goes up for bond holders increase in exports generally if a country exports more than it imports there is a high demand for its goods and its currency when demand high prices will rise it's having a direct impact on input cost uh, costs like raw materials and labor and so on next decrease in imports imports will decrease due to high cost of raw materials declining exchange rate also leads to imported inflation next cost push next we will see cost push inflation affecting factors first reduction in production and supply leads to increase in cost of production see see if the cost of raw materials increases increase the cost of production if the cost increases supply will reduce increase in wages next one shortage in the labor leads to higher wages next one increase in indirect tax increase in indirect tax leads to cost push inflation what are comes under indirect tax gst custom duty this two comes under indirect tax next defective supply chain defective supply chain leads to cost push inflation defects may be in design defect manufacturing defect and labeling defects and so on next increase in exports already we discussed increase in ex uh, export of a particular commodity leads to shortage of goods in the domestic market it pushes up prices industrial disputes industrial disputes leads to strike or layoff it affects the production and supply of goods it results in increased prices next natural calamities natural calamities means earthquake land landslide and tsunami affects production and supply of goods and services so prices will increases next artificial scarcities artificial scarcities means activities like a hoarding and speculative trading in commodity in the commodity future market it's result in price hike next international factors international factors what oil price hike 
shortage in production so like that these are the factors affecting the cost push inflation next one inflation on the basis of government control it is two types open inflation and suppressed inflation what is open inflation in open inflation government does not affect or restrict the prices hence prices are freely determined by the market forces suppressed inflation when government prevents the price rise through price control is called suppressed inflation uh, example petrol kerosene uh, agricultural uh, goods fertilizers and so on next one inflation on the basis of volatility inflation on the basis of volatility two types headline inflation and core inflation first we see core inflation what is core inflation it is based on those items whose prices are relatively stable it does not include food and fuel due to its volatility in the prices it is to measure long term trend in price levels the factoring of temporary efforts it is more important in the point of policy makers and economists next headline inflation it is measure of total inflation within an economy hence headline inflation is the combination of core inflation plus non core inflation next bottleneck inflation it occurs when supply falls drastically and demand remains at same level this creates excess demand in the economy as the supply cannot match with it and thus price goes up it is mainly seen in developing countries because of structural changes in economy example backward agriculture sector lack of finance outdated technology inefficient storage and distribution factors affecting the bottleneck inflation next infrastructure inflation infrastructure inflation will occur due to following factors lack of power communication artificial scarcity speculation and so on next protein inflation it will occur due to change in dietary habits towards protein rich foods has been a key driver of high food price inflation in india for example rising prices of pulses fish meats eggs and milk it is these all are the types of inflation thank you